It's the penultimate day of the Scottish National Age Group Championships from the Royal Commonwealth Pool in Edinburgh. Absolutely thrilled to welcome a very special guest, Mr David Wilkie. David, welcome. An age group championship, does this bring back some happy memories? It does, many, many years ago, I'm afraid to say that. Um, I was Scottish age group champion at the right old age of 11, in the 100 yards freestyle, I should say. <laughs> I mean, freestyle wasn't always my best stroke, but I was Scottish age group champion at, at that event. So it brings back some great memories, even though it was quite a few years ago. Now, the current training regime for our elite athletes is, well, is brutal to say the least. Was it the same back in your day? Yeah, I mean, I, I think you can only get so much out of a human body. You know, you can only train maybe maximum five, six hours a day. And when I was training for the Olympics in 1976, that's exactly what we were doing. Two hours in the morning, you know, probably covering about 8,000 metres, an hour in the afternoon between sort of two and three, and then another session, you know, between five and seven at night. So we were covering probably about 16, 17,000 metres every single day. We didn't do that all the time, but, you know, leading up to the big championships, the Worlds, the Commonwealth, the Europeans and the Olympics, of course, you were putting in, you know, five hours a day. So, you know, you can only get so much work done in the pool. I think the swimming now is more intense in the sense they did a lot more land work and I think it's probably a lot more advanced, but uh, we still had to put in the hours in, in those good old days too. Well, a very su successful result was achieved in 1976. Um, a year out from Glasgow 2014, it's an age group championship. We've got a lot of athletes really looking to be considered. What advice would you give them, not just to make selection to the team, but those who actually really want to contend for medals? Well, you know, we recognise now that swimming is tough. You know, it's a worldwide sport. And, you know, people used to think as a Commonwealth is the sort of the, the, sort of the, the, the Cinderella games, the easy games, but they're not. You know, you've got the Australians, you've got the Canadians, you've got the New Zealand swimmers, you've got the English, of course, you know. So good swimming nations. So to make that Scottish team, you're going to have to swim hard. But in terms of motivation, you know, the motivation should be in yourself. And in terms of wanting to get there, what I always say to people, you have to learn how to win. You know, a lot of coaches don't actually tell their swimmers how to win a race. And I think the swimmers have to know how to win. And if you learn how to win, you need to know what you need to do to win. And that means training hard, be motivated, don't get too nervous, but make sure you put the right amount of work in to get the right results. So it's all about a little package. And that package comes from yourself, it's about mental preparation. But of course, all the hard work comes in the water. And if you're not doing the four hours, five hours a day, you ain't gonna make it. It is a huge commitment. Can we invite you to just give a message of support to the swimmers for next year's Commonwealth Games? Well, I think for all of you competing in the Commonwealth Games and the trials, you know, good luck and, uh, as they say, may the best man win. So good luck to you all. David Wilkie, delighted to see you here in Edinburgh and thank you so much for joining us. Thank you.